The Freedom Front Plus wants the Western Cape to govern itself without interference from national government. The party submitted a bill to the legislature on Thursday requesting independence. Let's speak now to Peter Murray, Freedom Front Plus leader in the Western Cape. Mr. Murray, appreciate your time this afternoon. A little bit of confusion. Let us define who West Capetonians are uh, along economic, racial and value lines, if you will. Well, that's a quite a simple expected question because people still think every time when they lose a debate, they pull out a race card, race, apartheid, race. We're tired of that. Let's face the facts. The first people here in the Western Cape like, were the Koi and the Sun and the Greek war. That is Stravanaka's report, Special Rapporteur of the United Nations. In his report in 2007, he came to South Africa and reported back to the UNO that the Koi and the Greek war and the Sun they are indigenous to the Cape, and they are the First Nation. And after them came the Portuguese to the Cape, and then came the Dutch to the Cape, 1652, and then came 1820, and the British settlers, and then the Malaysian slaves were imported. And the French came here and taught us winemaking. And then the Corsa people moved down to the Cape, and we became a cosmopolitan people. All nations mixing, intermixing, mm. and from there came a new type of people I call colored. We are all together. We considered to be people of the Western Cape. It's not a race issue. We just have a different, shall I say, outlook on life than the rest of South Africa. We distinct from them. Our language is mostly Afrikaans, about 70%. And we don't lean towards communism or socialism. We're free marketeers. We believe in hard work, not handouts. We say we must first bake the cake before you want a piece of the cake. The ANC want to divide the cake, but they've got no idea how to bake an economic cake. So let's talk about those, those differences and rather yeah, the differences with the rest of uh, South Africa. What are some of those differences and what has led to you deciding as the Freedom Front Plus uh, that you would like for the Western Cape to uh, govern itself? Well, I just told you, I just told you those differences. They actually want to destroy everything that they think is, 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 uh, is something connected with colonialism. Everything. They want to burn down buildings. Even Parliament has now been build, burned down. I don't say it's them. But it has happened. It's never happened before. We are builders in the Western Cape. We're eager to build this country to become uh, uh, South Africa's Hong Kong. Where wealth is created. The Western Cape's people are totally different. Our behavior patterns is different. There's a lot of customs, and I don't look down on anybody's culture or language, but we are distinctly different. Anybody will tell you that. So isn't this ironic in that you, you talk about a cosmopolitan people and then you also criticize the, the differences or you, you suggest that you do not want to embrace the, the differences of, of other South Africans? No, but will, will, that, see, will, that, will that not lead to, to hatred of sort? If you are saying that we are, we are different, I mean, you, you're not... Uh, saying you're special in any particular way, but it is implied in, in what you are saying that because of... Are you saying that if I say an Arab is different to a German, it's racist? Are you saying that when I say what? that a Zulu is different to a Chinese person, that, he's, that it's racist? They're just different, but it's not racist. No, no. They're all equal people with different cultures. And understandable, but the fact is that because of your differences, you want to stand apart. You are looking for self-determination for those people that no. are different. There, is, there appears to be. So I suppose that's why we are speaking to you, so you can give us clarity on that issue. That's right. I, I want you to ask me the question and not tell me what I intend doing or what the parties intend doing. Ask me. I said it in Parliament. The ANC at the negotiations agreed to many clauses in the Constitution, giving people the right to self-determination. 
Not me, not the ANC. Joe Slover, Mandela, Ramaphosa, Mbeki, wrote Article 235 in the Constitution at the insistence of the Freedom Front, saying that any people sharing a common culture, language, and faith within a given geographic ter- territory has the right to self-determination. That's the law. The ANC also uh, under, uh, wrote many charters on human rights that says people have a right to self-determination. On the 10th of December 1998, sir, South Africa ratified the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which states in the area, all peoples have the right to self-determination. On the 12th January 2015, South Africa ratified the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. Self-determination come in various forms, and the ANC has an every co- international convention attached a signature to the right of any minority to seek self-independence. Mr. Murray. The ANC even backs Yasser Arafat and the Palestinians. He backs them that they want self-determination. So what's the problem? Maybe not a problem, but the issue around the Rainbow Nation is certainly the, the anthem that South Africa has been trying to, to sing, which is about bringing people together. Now, how does the Freedom Front Plus address concerns that the move could potentially lead to further fragmentation and division within South Africa, undermining national unity and cohesion? I'm glad you used the word further fragmentation. That's admitting there is fragmentation. Not so. By saying further fragmentation. South Africa has never been united. Never. Africa has a history of warlords, of Hutsis killing Tutsis, murders, Kenya, Uganda, all over. They're still doing it. Eritrea, black killing black, black violence against black, warlords. Africa is not a nation that says we love each other. Where does that come from? Show me one African state to the north of us, including Zimbabwe, where blacks haven't killed blacks by the hundreds of thousands for political power. There isn't one. They're still fighting and dying. We're trying to say, we didn't say we want to be, have secession and break away, but South Africa was the creation of a colonial power. We were four countries. Mr. Murray, I'm sure no, I'm, I'm afraid we've run short of time. Appreciate your time this afternoon. Peter Murray is the Freedom Front Plus leader in the Western Cape.